Yeah, here we have the option for room. Now this option will use when we have a uh, same height throughout the floor. Okay, if a floor is having the same height throughout throughout it uh, throughout its perimeter, then we'll use this tool place room automatically. When you place room automatically, all the rooms will get automatically placed. Okay, room five. Room six, room five, room three, room two, room one. Okay. Any doubt? No, no, go ahead. Okay, fine. Now to make it uh, to show the area, select this one. Select all instance visible in the project. When you click this, all the all the rooms will be selected. Okay. Now click here. Room tag with area. Now it will show okay. all the areas of the room. Okay. Okay. Room four, room five. Now, <coughs> this this was the lobby that we have. Okay. So next uh, next step is to define the room names. Okay. Select this one. Now here is the number and room name. So this is the lobby. L O double B Y lobby. Okay. Select this one. This room name here bedroom one. Okay. Select this room bedroom two. This is the toilet. Then select. The toilet and specify here T O I L E T toilet. Select this room. Is the living area living area and this is the parking area. Select this one. You can specify any of your name that as per your plan. You can select the bedroom here or the or anyone, any any type, any name you can specify. Just just I'm trying to make you understand how to use the tools of architecture. Okay, don't okay. go with the architectural planning. This is different <clears throat> as per the architecture. The tools. this may be different. Okay. 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 So any doubt in this? How to create rooms and specify the area and specify the names of the rooms? Any doubt? Okay, it's clear. Okay, fine. Creating room, placing the component. We have done ceiling. We have done. Okay. Now after that, if you have the same uh, the same floor plan for first floor and second floor, okay. If you have the same floor plan for first floor also and second floor also, then what you can do. You can select this hole. Let's select this one. Select this hole. Okay. Now the levels are also selected, na? Uh -huh. Yeah. Levels. So unselect level by select Shift, press Shift, and click on levels. Press Shift and click on levels. When you do this, the levels get unselected. Yeah. Okay. Then when you have selected this whole floor floor plan, it is the option for copy to clipboard. Copy to clipboard. Click this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And click this one. Paste. It is the option for align to selected levels. Click this. You want this floor plan on first floor also and second floor also. So click first floor and second floor. Select. Click OK. It will take time. The same floor plan is copied to first floor and second floor also. Uh -huh. Okay. Any doubt? Okay. How how these windows can open side by side, sir? The ground floor and uh, 3D. How these windows can open side by side? Just it will open automatically, or we have to open in separate windows? 
uh, window means uh, my my question is uh, here you open ground floor and 3d yeah, yeah. there are separate separate different suppose, windows right listen listen suppose you have opened now this view only okay now this view. is the ground floor okay okay now in this below we have the called 3d view option here okay when you double click this uh huh we will appear okay it's it open in separate window yeah in it will open in separate window we have separate window for this separate window for this okay okay okay, okay. i understand 